know, if you're fishing for points, every every one kg counts. So you know, if not much is going on in the middle of the day, we fish for these fish. Once again, um, I'll open up the prawn and or crayfish. Okay, crayfish obviously very effective as well. Then. This is a bronze bream trace. Let me show you the trace first of all. This is what I use. Okay, I don't use a double hook when I'm fishing for bronze bream. I use a single only. I just find double gives you more chance of hooking up and fouling up. And you, if you're fishing in the rocks, you do get fouled up a lot. So I fish uh, one, one trace about that length. The purpose of the float is just once again to give it a bit of movement, create a bit of movement. Uh, the hooks I'm using here are a DH55 Diachi. Very good hook for little reef fish. Um, if I'm not mistaken, this is, I think, a number nine um, that we've got here. Um, and that's what I use for, for, for bronze bream generally and other little reef species. But bearing in mind, fishing for this fish, you can catch cob, you can catch anything between the reefs. Okay. Rock cod. Once again, you've turned your prawn inside out. Okay. And then just wind it up. cotton. Another bait you can be using now, and you all know, there's the blob bait. Okay, also very effective for these fish, but you've got to really beat it well. Okay, you can't just put on a hard piece of chocolate for a bronze bream, not quite as effective. It's got to really be beaten into nothing. Okay, that looks a little bit banana-like, but we're there. Okay. Little bait for a reef fish or a bronze bream. See how proud the hook is. Okay, the sinker line I, I find is better longer. 